Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to finish out our application that we've created, which is this medium clone. And we're going to add the comment section down here. The comment section is going to fall into this area right here. And this can also serve as a review of all the concepts that you've learned in this course. The first thing that we should do is create a state file for all the comments. After we do that, we should open that up. Now remember the two things that we need to export is going to be the state object as well as the action object. Before we export these two objects, we need to define how we want to hold our state for the comments. And because we're going to access the API, we're going to have a loading property. And then we're just going to hold all the comments in an array of comment response. Now for the initial state, I'm going to have loading false and comments of an empty array. We need to make sure that we add comments into the namespaced configuration so that the comment file will have the TypeScript types that we can use from Overmind. The action that we're going to define is called load comments, and we're going to pass in a string of slug so that we know which articles comments that we're going to bring in. We're going to set an unset loading so that we know that we're creating a asynchronous request. And our asynchronous request is going to be wrapped in a try catch. We're also going to use format errors, which means we should probably add the errors. This way we can add appropriate errors to the state and we can access them appropriately. And after we send the request, we'll set comments to comment, which is the thing that comes back from the request. Now we can create a new component called comment list.tsx as well as comment.tsx. First we'll define comment list. Right now it'll be empty, just surrounded by React fragments. The props that we want for comment list is going to be the slug provided by the article. We'll destructure slug from the props. We're also going to call the use overmind hook here. And the comment list is going to be where we're going to be calling the load comments. We call load comments in a use effect every time the slug changes. And that's good enough for now that we could add it to the article content. So in article content, we're going to replace this comment here with the comment list. And here we need to provide slug so that it can work. After that, we're going to open up comment.tsx that we created. And this is going to be the component for each individual comment. Comment is going to be a functional component and the props that it's going to use is the comment response. Now we'll add the markup that Conduit gives us from the instructions. Card block, card text, card footer. Um, let's take a look at what we have access to in the comment response. So we have access to the body and the author, which is a profile response. So we destructure those two appropriately. From the author, we want specifically the username and image. And we're also going to want the created date. This is actually called created at. And then in the paragraph tag, we'll add the body. The span is where we're going to add the created at. Above the span, we're going to have a link tag and an image tag, both of which will have its own class name of comment author and comment author image. The link is going to go to the profile of that current of that specific user. And then for image, we're going to do the same thing that we did in article preview. So it'll look like this. There we go. And once that's done, we could add this to the comment list. So now I'm going to replace this. Well, we actually need to get the state of the comments first. So let's do that. All right. Once we do that, we can map through all the comments and we're going to be creating a comment component where we spread out the comment inside of it. And it would be a good idea to add the key and I'm going to set it to the comment ID. And then finally, we should add a loading property so that we don't render the comments when we are still making the request. And now we can check that in the app and we just need to find an article that has comments like this one. And there's all the comments available. Next, we can move on to the more mutative actions for comments. So in the comment state, I'm going to create a new action called create comment. It's an async action, so we're going to wrap it with the usual convention that we are using. Create comment takes in a slug and the comment body. So that's what we're going to define as the type of our value. And we'll destructure that from the second argument. And then provide it into create comment effect. And with the comment that we get back, we're going to add it to the state. And I'm going to be using the spread notation for adding a comment to the array. And then I'll save that. And then I'll add that to the actions. And then while I'm here, I'm going to make a delete comment action as well and delete comment needs a slug and the ID so that's what we're going to add to the value and destructure from the second argument as well and I don't think we need to change the loading properties instead we're just going to get rid of the comment inside the list and assume that everything goes correctly and of course we need to add that to the export as well all right let's start with create first let's start with delete first since that should be a lot easier 
All right, inside of comments, we're gonna get access to the use overmind state, and we're gonna grab the current user. And then from actions, we're gonna grab delete comment. And then down here after created at, we'll add a new span. This one's gonna have the class name of mod options with the icon of a trash can. But we're gonna wrap it in brackets because we only wanna display this if the current user username is equal to the author's username. And then we'll add an on click method that calls delete comment where we send in slug and ID which we don't have right now. We grab ID from props because we're sending it in, but in the comment list, we're also gonna have to add slug. And that means we need to also update the props for comments. Uh, this is actually supposed to be an object, not two separate strings. So, so I'm gonna surround this with brackets and that should be good. So that takes care of delete. Now we're gonna do create, which requires us to make a new component where we're gonna access formic. And I'm gonna call this component comment form .tsx, and we'll open that up and add the usual React boilerplate. And there we go. So we know that the comment form needs access to the action of create comment. Here we'll use the overmind hook as well. And from actions, we're gonna get create comment. The enclosing tag is gonna be the formic component. And it's gonna have the initial values of body being an empty string. And the else submit is gonna have a function that calls create comment where we provide the slug in the body. The slug has to come in from the outside, so we're gonna add that as props. And of course, slug is a string where we can destructure from the outside. This form is gonna be much simpler because we only have one field of body, and that field is gonna be a text area. The class name is gonna be form control with rows of three, and we'll have the placeholder of write a comment. And in the footer, we'll have the button type submit with the text of post comment. The button's gonna have a class name as well. And in the footer, we're also gonna have an image. The image is from the current user that's logged in, and we don't actually need to pass this in from a parent component. Instead, we can get it from the state. So going back up here, inside of auth, we'll get current user, and instead of destructuring, I'm gonna use the optional chaining to get the image. And to make things easier for us, I'm just gonna add authenticated here. And if the user is not authenticated, we're just gonna return no. That way in the comment list, we can just add it here, and all we have to do is provide the slug. And once that's done, our application is basically complete. And now we can make a new comment. So I'm just do new comment, we'll post. And on the bottom, we have our new comment with a little trash can that we can click. And it removes the comment completely.